Today we're going to show you how we made this DIY modern message board. We needed a place by our entryway to write some messages and store keys, as well as a place to put notes on a magnet board. The plan was to make a modern looking message board that was also functional. The frame is made out of walnut. We created a chalkboard using chalkboard paint, and using some roofing sheet metal we made a place to stick magnets. We started by marking out all the cut lines on the walnut. We used a white pencil so the lines could be easily seen on the dark wood. The top and bottom rails will have curved edges and the sides will be straight pieces. <laughs> by placing the top and bottom together, you can transfer your marks from one side to the other. With the lines marked out, we used a compass to mark the curves. It helps to make sure you have the orientation right. Here we're cutting the curves with a band saw. You can also use a jigsaw or a coping saw. With the pieces rough cut, we used a tubular sanding disc mounted in a drill press to clean up the curves. Next, we marked and drilled the holes for the key hooks. We drilled an angled hole in a scrap piece of wood to use as a guide when drilling the holes in the bottom piece. To join the sides of the frame to the top and bottom, we used pocket screws and glue. These make a strong joint, and since the holes are on the back, there's no need to hide them. Be sure to use fine thread pocket screws on the hardwood or it might crack. With the frame put together, we used a trim router and a roundover bit to ease the edges.
Here we're using chalkboard paint to cover the hardboard backer. <laughs> Using clamps to hold it in place, we drill pilot holes into the shelf from the back, then secure it with glue and fine thread screws. Next, we secure the sheet metal with a pin nailer. Small finished nails would work as well. We're using dark walnut Danish oil as a finish. It's easy to apply and it looks great. We cut out the chalkboard using the frame as a guide. Then mark the screw holes so we wouldn't accidentally nail into them while attaching the back. These steel rods were cut to length with a hacksaw and the edges smoothed with sandpaper. They just get tapped into place. Add some picture hangers for mounting and you're done.